guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making sweet and sour chicken. Or you can use pork, lamb, beef, whatever you want. Or you can do a vegetarian one. But first, we wash our hands. Running water, don't forget. Running water. Don't forget the little tummies. Rinse it off, and today we've actually got a nice clean towel. So, I'm going to show you <coughs> what you need. Some garlic, you can use fresh or tube, a little bit of marmalade, carrot, spring onion, onions, peppers, celery, ginger. I'm using chicken, pineapple, tomato puree, white vinegar, doesn't matter if you haven't got white vinegar, just use ordinary malt vinegar. I'm going to cut this up, put it in the pan and boil it for a few minutes, not too long because we don't want it soft and soggy. So I'm going to start cutting it up now and then when you come back I shall have it on the stove. Oh yeah. Right, in the pan here, we have roughly just over a pint of water. We have the juice out of the tin of pineapples. And we have the carrots, because carrots always take a little bit longer to cook. <coughs> so I'm going to put the other vegetables in now. So you've got pineapple, spring onion, onions, peppers. I'm going to put them all in there. And a little bit of celery. It's not going to be like the sweet and sour sauce that you get from the Chinese with that sloppy jam sauce that you put on top of it. This has got all the veg in it and it tastes so much better. Right, in it goes. Give it a little stir around. Look at those beautiful colours. Look at that. Right. Spoonful of marmalade. A large spoonful of tomato puree. That gives it the red colour and a bit of flavour. Empty the chew back because there's not a lot left in there. Did the spoon go in? Oh look, drop the spoon in there. Oh, that's hot. Right. Soy sauce, two spoonfuls. Black pepper, little sprinkle. Sweet chilli sauce or chilli flakes, half a spoon. It never ends, does it? Garlic. One teaspoon. Fresh ginger or whatever ginger you've got your hands on. Oh, beautiful. What have we forgotten? Ah, oh, yes. White vinegar. Or malt vinegar if you haven't got white. Two spoonfuls at least. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Who sang that? Ten points extra. Two large spoonfuls. Now. When you're making something like this, now I'm not going to put the salt in now, I might put some salt in later. It all depends on your taste buds. If you like it sweeter, make it sweeter. If you like it more sour, put more vinegar in it. 
But look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now what we do when the sauce, it's only, it's only going to take a few more minutes now because we don't want it soft and soggy. And then we're going to thicken it up with a little bit of corn flour like I showed you the other day. Just mix a bit of corn flour in some water and gently stir it in. So this is the sauce for your sweet and sour. Later on I'm going to show you how to do the chicken. Well, you, and uh, I'll explain to you what to do with the chicken. So I'll see you in a little while. Welcome back. Now we're going to make some batter. So in here I've got roughly three quarters of a pound of flour, a good teaspoonful of teaspoonful of baking powder, some salt, some white vinegar. This is just for flavouring, a little bit of celery salt, some pepper, and some turmeric to give it a bit of colour. And a bit of tomato puree to give it a bit of flavour and colour. Butter really is, that's all it is. And some milk. And we're going to top it up with some water. And you don't want it too thick, you don't want it too thin, so it's just your own. Keep putting it in until you think it feels right. You can see that little bit of colour there. A little bit more water, I think. a bit more all right there's the batter then all mixed together and as you can see it's starting to bubble a bit because of the baking powder here's our chicken got strips of chicken they're just chicken breasts this you can use whatever you want you can use chicken you can use pork you can use lamb you can use beef this is cooked already so we're gonna, oh damn, I forgot. You gotta dip it in the flour first. Never mind, my mistake. Just sprinkle it in some flour first. What a plonker. Paul, you're a plonker. I know. I forgot to dip it in the flour. But this bit will be all right. Get it in there. And now we're going to. Okay, so you get your, I've got a pan of uh, oil on here. Now, if you should, if you don't feel confident doing this, get somebody to help you. Because oil is very dangerous. Never get any water near it. And just take your time. Don't put your fingers in. Because we don't want cooked fingers, we want cooked chicken. My dog just come in. Right, there's our first lot. And we're going to put them on there. So the oil drips off them. And then we're going to put them in the oven on the low heat to keep them warm until we're ready to serve. And then we're just going to carry on cooking and cooking until we've got enough for the whole family. So I'd say that was one portion there, so I've probably got another five to do. I'm just going to put them in there and keep them warm on a nice low heat. And I'm going to carry on cooking them. Hi guys. Right, there's the sauce. So I'm just going to show you how to finish it now. With some corn flour. Just to thicken it up a little bit. So that it's not too runny on the plate. And it, if you use corn flour, it doesn't dry, it doesn't go dull, it stays with a nice shine. So, let's get a bit more in there. And uh, there's, in there look, because I had some butter left over, and so two bits of pineapple and two bits of banana, and there's your pudding. And I'm going to put this together now so you can see what it's like. 
So we're going to have, let that thicken up a bit. Okay, there's the sauce. It's completely different to what you see in a Chinese. Normally you just get that red bit in the middle. And I did add a stock cube to that to give it a little bit of flavour. So if you use vegetarian stock cubes, it's perfectly all right for a vegetarian. Right, here's some rice we cooked off earlier on. And to get that colour, we put a bit of turmeric in the water. So it makes it a nice yellow. Right, this one is actually for the cameraman, lady, sorry. So how many bits of chicken would you like, madam? Four. Just four? Right, five. Five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Is that fine? One more. Okay. I thought you might. And some sauce? Yeah, not too much. Not too much, because it might be poisonous. Well, there's a bit of pineapple there. I'm going to put a bit on Nick so that they can see what it looks like. Obviously, mm -hmm. you don't have to eat it. Right. So there's the sweet and sour chicken in batter. If you don't want to do it in batter, just do it. Fry the chicken off in a frying pan. And there, what could be better than a nice... Banana fritter and the two pieces of pineapple I had left. There we are. Just gently rolled in some caster sugar. So it's a very adventurous one to do this, but I'm sure you can manage it. And if you get stuck, just give us a ring or give Luke a ring, he'll help you out. So until the next time. Happy cooking!